Surge backs away and bottom lane also action about to brew. Sumail comes in, he's got the Doom ready. He's gonna Doom no tell, they wanna go for the twofer. Crit in a lot of trouble, gets the lift back, tries to turn this one, steals the sigil, looks like he should be able to make it out. But will no tell be so lucky? The living armor helping to keep him alive. Still that Doom's got a lot of duration left. They slow him down further with the Arctic Burn. Can he get tonight in the neutrals? Not gonna happen. EG is gonna get caught up here too. Then the curse, flawless. Absolutely pristine. Nine to one the score. Everybody taking their turn, getting punched by EG. And now they're gonna show themselves, but Arteezy. they have the back. Level two, they have the wall. Can they take this? They're rolling in, Universe engaging. There's a very nice turn attempted, but no! Too much damage! They bring down the Shadow Fiend. They're too late to the party here. Trying to turn it using the Pale Illusions, jumping onto Universe. He's fairly durable though. Looks like he may be able to make it out. The Shadow Fiend's dead. They get a Wyvern, but that's it as the trade. I think Orsu Mail. But they're all grouped up. Smoke from EG. Not scouted. Arteezy, the man in front here, the double damage room gets activated by the PL, and they're going to engage onto No-Tail, they go off the bat, trying to catch him out, he doppelgators, he looks to turn, he's got the living armor on him, but that also reveals which one's real, and now they get off the curve, they jump in with the bell, the Doom as well, crits down two, two have fallen, and OG, thinking about the Requiem, do they have any way to interrupt this, he will get it off, a pretty good overgrowth, the chain cross though, bouncing, and doing work on OG at third, oh, he's not even going to get fear, and look for more, rolling onto Moon, and they're going to bring him down two, that's four, five, the lone survivor truly is an emblem here for OG as he runs away. Let's see, do EG even bother going for the big team fighter? Do they just slowly muscle up on mid? Arteezy has the DD run of his own and two male engages. Gets up the doom. My god, he gets destroyed! Miracle! It's far too squishy and easily dealt with. Now crit could be next. Although he's got the glimmer cape, it isn't gonna matter. Goes down as well. Steals the Arctic Burn to no avail. EG looking for more. No tail trying to jump back, but the shards are oh, there. Waiting to get across. Universe again. Beautiful catch out. Does he have to roll in? He could go for this, but it'd be a deep dive. There's still a tower. They don't want to risk it. Go for that high ground breach. Glyph not available. On cooldown for a minute and a half. Even if they have, have five X, not sure they'll matter. But only one up on the Shadow Fiend. The living armor getting dealt with now, and EG starting to really press in, looking to take that one zero advantage. They want the rematch with Secret. They're not there just yet, but this game feeling like it's all but there. As the Sumail jumps in, he gets up the Doom Moon, just pop back. He's dead again, out for 50. Crick could be next, the overgrowth's there, not gonna matter. Universe rolls in, right past it. Onwards and upwards for the boys in blue as they turn to Miracle. Arteezy deals with him. That's gonna be a fourth kill for the fight as No-Tail. Looks to rejoin, tries to get back in. The Shadow Fiend will buy back, down as well as the tree. Oh, gee, the dream in this one is long dead. 29 to two. An absolute thrashing. Never did it feel like OG had any kind of momentum. Business as usual for EG. From 13 to two to 29 to two. I don't think they dropped the kill in the last 15 minutes. This team looks focused today. They are not here to play around. There will be no mercy for OG unless they can pull it together on their own.